everybody. Welcome to Inspiration Tuesday. It's good to be with you again. Hey, as we've been thinking about prayer, and we talked about the prayer cycle last week from Zume, we thought, especially since Craig is going through this sermon series about prayer, that it would be good to hear from some other people about what it is that they do in their own prayer times. Well, I had a conversation with Christina Totteridge, and she shared with me something that she's been doing in using an app that has been really helpful for her. So let's listen in to Christina as she shares about that app. Hey, Fern Creek family, Christina Totterich here. I'm just coming to you to talk to you a little bit about how I do my daily devotionals. Um, some of you guys may, may know me and my husband, Sam. We've been attending Fern Creek for about seven years. Um, I absolutely love it there, and, and I really feel like I've been able to grow closer to God through our time there. Um, I was talking to Rich Teske about a week and a half ago, and, and I mentioned this app, First Five, that I've been using, and he asked, you know, would I mind to make a video? Well, this isn't really my cup of tea, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a shot. So. Um, you know, I've been using this app since about January, but really um, I heard about it almost, gosh, a year and a half or two years ago from my sister-in-law, Valerie Hughes. Um, we had been talking just about making time for devotional and how we just sometimes just really can't find the time to do it. And she said, well, you know, I've been using this app called First Five and it's literally five to 10 minutes um, and you do a daily devotional, you have a reading and you do your prayer and you kind of make it into your own thing. At the time, I, I kind of, I, I tried it. It didn't really go very well. I kind of fell off the bandwagon, kind of tried it again, and just kept going back and forth. Well, I've been doing it almost every day um, since the beginning of January, uh, mainly Monday through Friday, but almost every day. And, uh, you know, there are days where I forget and then I have to kind of backtrack and do a couple days in a row. But um, I really have found that it really helps me. Um, one thing about the First Five app is that it really is geared towards women. So just a, a little caveat there. I'm just kind of talking about the social pressures of being a woman, um, being a, a working woman in society, being a working mom. Um, those kinds of things are, are really hit hard in the app. But um, I really do enjoy it. Um, I think it gives me um, you know, no excuses. I can't say I don't have time. It's five to 10 minutes, seriously. Um, you know, it's, it's convenient. It's on my phone. Um, the Bible verses are there for me. Um, it's just a matter of finding that time to really do it. Um, like Craig said in today's sermon, it doesn't have to be before the sun comes up. If you're a morning person, sure, go ahead. But if lunch is a better time to do your five to 10 minutes, then do it then. But that's totally up to you. So what I wanted to do was kind of show you guys how the app works. So I'm going to attempt to connect my iPhone phone uh, screen so you guys can see how the phone looks like this it is also available for Android so give me just a moment to get that up on the screen there we go all right so now you can see my phone screen so I'm going to open up the first five app go back to the home page so you can see what you usually see when you first log in so when you first log in, you usually see this page. It'll take you to what the daily devotional is for that day. You are welcome to just go ahead and, and do what the app has every single day if you would like. Um, and it kind of just takes you through um, different things. And so uh, it kind of just has something there for you that's always, always there. But what I like to do is I like to go to the bottom right hand corner there, which says plans. And uh, the beginning of the year, I started with Luke. So you'll see that I almost finished Luke. The reason it's not completed is that I don't tend to do their weekend um, summaries, their summary videos of the week and not really my thing. So I just chose to not do those, which of course you can do those, you can do them if you want. Um, I'm currently going through Genesis. So you can see here that you have, um, you know, different days. Uh, so basically what they do is they do kind of a Monday through Friday, and then they do what's called a weekend wrap up. Um, the weekend wrap up, like I said, is, is more of a video. It's not really anything new. It's just kind of summarizing what they did throughout the week. You're welcome to do those if you like. I just wasn't really a big fan. So um, my study for tomorrow, I'm all the way down on day 31. So if I click on what my what my study is for tomorrow, um, you know, you get this nice little picture that kind of summarizes what you're going to be going over. It says God sees us, finds us, intercedes, and provides for us. And so kind of just gives you, putting you in the mindset of what you're about to learn about. So then as you scroll down, you'll see that it says today's reading. So if you click on that, it will actually open up a new web browser with the Bible reading. So of course you could take out your own Bible if you wanted to, or you can read it right here on your phone. And so you could kind of go through, do the reading, and then you go back to your study. So then it kind of gives you a little bit of a summary about the verse, 
kind of gives you more of a lesson. You kind of read through that lesson. And then when you get through that, there is kind of a scripted prayer. Now, of course, like Craig said, scripted prayers aren't necessarily what we want to be doing. And so what I've been doing is, is I read through the prayer. It kind of gets my my mind in the right mindset. It kind of helps me. Um, it does kind of follow those guidelines of what prayer should be. But then I don't just end where it says, in Jesus' name, amen. That's when I take the time to really connect with God and, and make the prayer my own. And I ask him for what I need. And I thank him for that day. And, you know, in this moment with this pandemic, you know, I just thank him for everything that we do have. And so, you know, that's kind of how I go through my daily devotionals. Now, there are going deeper. Um, you can you can do some more stuff. You can get an experience guide that they sell. They have these more moments. Um, there's all these different things that you can add in and make it your own if you want to add more to it, okay? Um, then there's comments that other people have made about this and how it's affected their lives. You know, that can sometimes help you just realize you're not alone. Um, at the bottom, this is the best part. If you're a checklist kind of person like I am, you can then go through and check off that you did your reading and your teaching, and then you're done for the day. Now, I actually still have to do this one, so I'm going to uncheck those. So essentially, that is how the app works. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of here so that I don't have a double screen. There we go. So I hope that this has helped you learn a little bit more about this app. Like I said, it is geared a little bit more towards women, um, but I absolutely love the app. It's really helped me um, hone in some time with God. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm sure Rich can give you my contact information. Um, I would be, be happy to help you out with this, but I hope it's just one way that you can find time to spend with God. So God bless you guys. I hope you guys are all safe at home and that you're getting through this Hey, Christina, thank you so much for sharing that with us. That was really fun to watch, just to be able to hear um, from other people in our congregation about what they're doing during this time to just stay connected with God. You know, one of the things that I feel like I'm learning uh, through this season is just how important that is and that really our spiritual lives are totally up to us, that it's up to us to find the time to spend in prayer in God's word. And so we hope that we're helping you guys understand that a little bit today. We hope that through our, Tuesday, our Inspiration Tuesdays that we're giving you tools and things to do uh, with your time with God. Uh, one of the things I would encourage you to do is, is what Christina has done, uh, to use technology as a resource. There are, uh, we live in a world that, that just provides it with so many resources, um, whether it's through God's Word on the YouVersion app or just other resources to from commentaries to apps with devotionals. So I just encourage you to, to look for those and find something that works for you. If it's a five to 10 minute thing in the morning, uh, use that. Um, if it's more of a 30 minute thing at night, use that. Whatever works for you, use it. Um, so I just encourage you to do that. You know, we wanna hear from you guys. If, if you're like Christina, have, have found something during this time um, that has kept you connected with God that normally hasn't, or it's just something you've always done, we want to hear from you guys. So if you'll send those to me and Rich, we'd love to hear those, uh, whether it's video or just an email. Let us know how you guys are staying connected with God so we can share with others and resource that out to others. So thanks so much for being with us. Hey, one last thing I want to remind you about is on Sunday, uh, Craig introduced the Light Up the Ville Challenge. Um, and what that is, is we've got about 140 envelopes left that we're asking uh, families to just come pick up. It's got instructions on what to do with it and where to go with it and all that good stuff. So um, it's really just a missional challenge. So uh, if you, you can come by the office anytime, Monday through Friday, nine to four and pick those up. And so if, if you're willing to say yes to light up the veil challenge, would you, would you come and would you pick up one of those envelopes from the office? Hey, thank you so much for what you're doing. Know that we're praying for you. If you need anything, reach out to us. Hey, thank you so much for being here. Thank you.